Hi, and welcome to Installing and Integrating PrismDoc into your web application. In this video, I will show you how to get started using PrismDoc and how to integrate this into a web application. We're going to get started by visiting the Accusoft.com website and going to PrismDoc. From here, I can sign up to download a free trial. And now I'm going to have a few options for getting started. To get started quickly, you can access our Accusoft hosted version, or you can download a self-hosted version that includes both the client and server installs. There are installers available for multiple platforms. And on the support menu, we also have code examples that you can use to get started as well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started using a code example. I'm going to get started with our cloud hosted viewer. And in this case, I'm going to use the PHP sample. All of these samples can be downloaded and simply installed into your web server, whether that be Windows or Linux. This will take me to GitHub, where I can download the latest code. This will download a zip file, which I can extract. And now I have a folder with the files in it that I need to load into my web server. Before I do that, I'm just going to rename this folder for simplicity purposes. So the root directory for my web server is var www file manager. On your computer, that will be wherever you've configured that in your Apache or your IIS. I'm going to copy this, this folder into this directory. Now I can see I've got an Accusoft folder here. I'm going to go into the web directory, into the HTML5 directory, and this is where my viewer is now loaded. Now if I go to the localhost Accusoft web folder, you'll see that I've installed some sample code here that I can start working with. But before we go any further with that, we do want to get our license key, which we can get from the Accusoft website. This will also be emailed to you when you sign up for your account. From the Accusoft website, if I go to Login, Cloud Portal Login, and then log in with the account I just created. And then once I'm logged into my account, I'll see I'll have an API key, which I can copy. And back in my directory that I just installed, I'll see that I have a file called pccconfig. I'm going to edit that file. And I'm going to insert my key where it says place your API key here. And I'll save those changes. Now I'll go back to my sample. And there you have it. I've now installed the Accusoft Prism Doc Viewer connected to our cloud hosting environment. And now this is available to start testing. So those are the installation steps using the web tier sample code. So now I'm going to show you how to integrate this into a sample web application. I've installed a simple file manager tool. And when I go to access one of these files, you'll notice that it does nothing at this point in time. So what I want to do is I want to go edit this file to point now to this viewer that we just installed. So I'm going to edit the file for this web page. And I'm going to look for those links that I want to replace that will now link to opening the file. So you can see here that I have a hyperlink that is being referenced when I hover over these files for localhost slash dash dash dash. In this case, I just want to replace that with the location of our new viewer. So I'm going to replace that link with the location of the viewer that we just installed. And I'm going to append onto that document equals sample dot doc. In this case, it's just going to now point to that sample document. So I'm going to save those changes. And now when I refresh the page and go to access one of these files, you'll see that it will load that sample document that we showed you at install. So now we just need to go back and point to the variable 
that is actually calling these file names. So I'm going to edit that file one more time. And I'll go back and find those links that I've replaced. And I will replace the sample.doc with my variable. And I'll do this again for each one of those links that I edited earlier. The last thing I want to do is also point my Prism doc to my documents folder that are being used in this application. To do that, I'll go back to my AccuSoft directory. And I'll edit my configuration file again. And I'll replace the document path with the path to where my documents reside. Once I make those changes, I will save that. If I come back, refresh the page, you'll now see when I go to open these documents, I've effectively integrated Prism Doc directly into my web application to allow me to open and view dozens of file types directly in the browser. For more information about Prism Doc, visit AccuSoft.com. At AccuSoft.com, you'll find much more information about Prism Doc, as well as more sample code and demos to help you get started quickly. Thank you, and that's installing and integrating Prism Doc 